Now presenting your valedictorian for the class of 2012, Trin Lay. Heroes. What is a hero? Is it someone who sports a red cape, blue spandex with a symbol plastered onto their chest, streaking across the sky and leaping tall skyscrapers, going places where man can only dream? Or is it a man behind the mask, selflessly placing themselves in harm's way, no questions asked, no favors in mind, with no thoughts of compensation for their actions? Or is it a man? A grown man who places all time and effort into raising their child, to help that child take their first step, to see them tie their first shoe knot, to see them ride their skateboard and fall down, having you run to them in a panicking state to treat and care for their wounds. Or maybe when he places that little work of art you did when you were six years old on that metal frame box in your kitchen called the refrigerator. No matter how stupid you think it is now, Back then, it was the greatest creation in the world, and he helped you realize that. Realize that it isn't what society deemed was good art, but what you believed to be good in your heart. And that's all that mattered. His belief in you and your belief in yourself. Not everyone can be as lucky to have a hero in their life, but I'm sure it must be nice. I can picture it now. I'd run to him with my homework, asking him for help, and he'd sit me down and show me how to do it, because I just knew he had all the answers. We'd be spending late nights doing math problems because I'm terrible at math, but he wouldn't mind. He would just smile at me with all the patience and understanding that any good person should have. Those games you'd play with your kid, catch, frisbee, volleyball, soccer, just me and him. No stress, no worries, we'd play for hours and we'd wonder where the time went. Before you know it, the sun would be down. Dinner time already? I'd ask them. Just five more minutes, please. Then I'd give him those little puppy eyes that he couldn't resist. My happiness would be his happiness. That tie would never be broken, not for anything. Always there, always on time, always dependable. As soon as he picked me up, I excitedly tell him about my day. How's your day, love? He'd ask. I ramble on and on about macaroni art that I made. I'd have the certificate for getting an A on my science project that I worked so hard on. It's the little things in life that counts. Those moments that literally take your breath away especially the ones that have you holding your stomach and rolling on the floor. I wouldn't get enough of it. And who wouldn't, honestly? I'm happy, I'm secure, I'm safe as long as he was around.
he could be balancing his checkbook, paying off his taxes, filing his reports, and cashing out checks. Get off the phone with his boss, who just told him off, being this close to getting fired, and throwing his tantrums, yelling and cursing, spewing out every word of profanity that exists in the English dictionary. But when I'm around, it'd be just me and him. The creators of our world, the imaginaries of our Disneyland, the artists of our canvas, the president of our nation, the photographers of our scene, and the heroes to our damsels in distress. It's at that moment that I realize a hero isn't someone who sports a red cape and blue spandex. It isn't someone who streaks across the sky and leaps tall skyscrapers. It isn't a man of steel, a dark knight, a man with a green lantern, a woman with a lasso, a traveler between galaxies, nor a man that travels faster than the speed of light. It's a man who takes you to trips to your favorite ice cream store. A man who makes you laugh. A man who makes you cry. Not from pain of sorrow, but from pain of laughter. And with a love that burns in your soul so deep, it reveals that all that you are and all that you should be. Happy, gentle, compassionate, and loved. The man who gives you hope who tells you that you're worth more than you believe. The man who believes in what you do and what you aspire. You're a protector. You're a hero. My hero.